Yes, that's Joe Bleen here, and today we've got another FIFA Mobile Season 2 video for you, brought to you by the Game Changers Network. Massive thanks to EA for flying me out to Vancouver to record this gameplay and this footage for this early opportunity. As I've mentioned in other videos, this foot, this build is a test build and it's not final, so some rewards, some items may change in the final game, but this gives you a good idea and more or less how it will all be. So today we are going to look at training. So training is the new method in this year's EVA where you can literally level anybody you want up to level 100. So we'll just um, move that here. So as you can see at the moment, we've got this set where these players, they're all low rated, but they're up to 100, but we'll just swap him out and we'll show you with a lower rated player, ignore most of these. Let's go get, uh, we'll, we'll go get a 70 rated striker. So we'll get this Gonzalez 70 rated. Let's move him into train. You can take him up as high as you want. So you use players for XP or you use these training XP tokens. You could say you want to, tr say you just want to go up at one rating, you'll do this and it will auto sort what it takes for you. So you've got some players you want to save. You can tap them yourself and you can see it shows you how much each of these players are worth training xp obviously the higher rated the better the training xp or you can get these training tokens which is going to put it up so the players the prices vary um to go up from so this player is actually 67 but the skill boost which we'll go into in another video boosted them up to 70 so say we want to take him from 67 to 70 rated it's going to cost us about two and a half thousand xp and 18k coins um, if we want to take him up to an 80 rated elite from 67 to 80 it's going to toss us 212k now you may initially be thinking this is kind of expensive coins are a lot easier to get in season 2 of FIFA Mobile coin rewards are a lot higher than pretty much anything you do you'll be getting coins very very easily so the economy the coins will be a lot higher so you've got to take that into account when you're looking at this now well obviously once we're all playing in the game and season two is out we'll be able to see easy with the economy of how it all works but yeah they have assured me and i've seen it from like looking through campaign rewards coins are a lot easier to get hold of um but at the same time maybe they could be a little bit so let's take him up to 90. 1.5 million to take him up to 90 that's that's a lot but it's a 90 rated card if you want if it's a 90 rated card we're going to take him all the way to 100 it's going to cost 9.6 million and a hell of a lot of xp but it just comes in the progress and it's a long-term aim obviously if you if you're a heavy heavy spender you you could potentially get them day one but it's going to cost you a lot if you're free to play, you may just set a target like certain players. You can build your ultimate team, whoever you want to use. It may take longer. It may be a personal project. You may have a top project of, I want to get my players to this, buy this, and work the whole year doing that. That's your choice to do. And it's that possibility. You've got the possibility of doing that. No one's going to stop you from doing it. If you want to do it, you can do it. The team is your oyster. Like for example, this my team here, it's it's a full Nottingham Forest side, all level 100. You can do that if you support a particular club and you want to do it, you can do it. So I think that's a really good move. Uh, some people may not like it, some people may, but you don't have to. Because if we look at the end of season one, and even throughout most season one, especially the top teams, the spenders, everyone pretty much had the same team. There was no creativity really. Now you can get creative, you can use whoever you want. You, or you could argue that this isn't creative at all because it's all just a one-sided team. But that's the option. You can also notice there, you can put plays wherever you want now. And we'll go into that in the skill boost video. I don't know what order I'm uploading these in, but skill boost, we'll go into that more because it's when skill boosts only affect those in the correct position. So the world is your oyster. That's the tag, hashtag, not the hashtag. That's the catch that we're going with. The world is your oyster for trading. Let's um, let's um, scroll down far here. Let's go get a really low rate of play because I want to show you the differences because we showed a 70. It costs 9 million to take him up to 100. Let's see the lowest we've got here. We're going low, we're going low. 
43 Egan. Let's see how much is it going to cost to get him. So getting him up to 50, 3,000 coins. Getting him up to 60, 14,000 coins. Getting him to 70, 69, 58,000. Getting him up to 80, 252,000. So it scales pretty similarly who you're taking up. We knew that the 67 to 100 was... Um, sorry, I'm doing this with 1.6. So as you can see, it's, it works out similar. And getting him to 100 is that 9.6 million again. So it's the same price. Whoever you're leveling up, you can do it. And it's going to level up in exactly the same way. So there's nothing to worry about there. You can level them up that way and it's not going to affect you. It's not like you get the same reward. I am going to level him. I do want to show you one of them leveled up so you can get an idea. Let's, um, let's level up at somebody who's already elite. So let's take De Bruyne here. He's already 85 rated. If we throw him in up to 90, it's going to cost it. So it is quite expensive at this level. But um, So if we take him up to 90, it's going to cost us just under 1 million coins. And it will take De Bruyne up to a 90 rated card. We put him up to 100, it's going to cost about that 9 million. So that just shows you here, whoever you're choosing to take all the way, it's going to cost you pretty much the same amount so it doesn't really it doesn't benefit you too much to choose players that are already highly rated unless you like that player and want that player for his stats wise it's not going to do it too much there but let me show you the difference it makes with stats so yeah we'll stick on De Bruyne now and let's just take him up to 100 uh, sadly, you can't see what the stats will change to before you you commit. We was hoping it would because on the NBA, um, I know you can on NBA Madden, I think you can. You can see what stats it improved before you commit. On this build at the moment on FIFA, you can't. We've gave them the feedback. Hopefully, it can make that possible in the future. But we're going to put him on plus 15 overall here to 100. And look at what this does to his stats. When you get a play to 100, it boosts them ridiculously. Look at some of this. It's not just like in season one at the moment where whenever you do a player, like if we looked at when a player got a new card, they just get, say they went up five ratings, every stat would go up by five. In this, it's all tailored and skilled to that player. Um, so De Bruyne isn't running for tackling, so tackling doesn't go up by much. But um, his long passing does, it goes up by 36, so it goes up higher. Pretty, pretty insane. And at like the, the 80, the 90, the 100 mark, it goes up a lot more. So let's have a look. Um, who can we use? Let's use this Mendy, for example. Mendy, if we put him up to 89, yeah, we'll use this will work as an example. Because we haven't got the right one. So we'll put him up to an 88. And his stats are okay. We've gone up eight. Most it's gone up by is eight on the crossing the others are three or four so not too much here or there we put him up to oh it's gonna let us go to 89 this time we go here look pretty much one or two on all of them now when we trigger it over to the 90s mark you see a bigger impact like composure goes up by plus 20 when they reach their milestone figures the the tens they get a lot more and you'll see that here 91 they from 90 to 100 they start to get a lot shot power up plus 10 crossing up plus 5 between 90 to 100 is when you see the biggest difference in stat boosts plus 8 free kicks each one that's taken to 95 big big upgrades on some of these plus 10s plus 14s they get serious upgrades as you get to that final mark so you may see along the way you upgrade and thinking Oh, these aren't, don't seem worth it. When you get to that end game, that 90 to 100, you start to see some absolutely massive upgrades. Let's, yep, let's do it. Let's take, let's go back and show you the stat changes on the low rated. So we'll take this striker young. Striker young, we're going all the way to the top with young. And we're going to see some pretty mental upgrades here. So he's just your average run of the mill player. Level 109.6 million plus 55 increase. And look at some of these. So acceleration's gone up 54 to 120. What's the biggest? Dribbling went up 64. 
finishing up 65 to 112 reaction 66 these stats all equal out pretty well indeed just look at them that is ridiculous so this is training let me know what's your plan who are you going to look to to train in FIFA Mobile who will your ultimate team be hopefully this explains to you you get your training XP along the way doing it campaigns doing first attack and all that good stuff and you can now build your ultimate team however you like want a goalkeeper goalkeepers sadly can't be placed anywhere just because goalkeepers play differently but everyone else you can play them wherever you like if you play them out of position then you'll maybe not you won't get your skill boosts but um, that's the sacrifice you take at the start end game it may be more important to play them in position but the start it's fine so leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new here come follow me on twitter at joe in hd and i'll see you all later peace Doors, I'm a fool for your love